The Louvre has favoured artists since its opening as a people's museum in 1793. Some had studios, some had apartments at the museum. The artists came to learn from the old masters to copy. The Louvre, wrote Cezanne, is the book in which we learn to read. Small but absolutely perfect. This is the painting that Renoir regarded as the most beautiful in all the world. Vermeer's The Lace Maker. Van Gogh was equally entranced by the colour harmony, the arrangement of lemon yellow, pale blue and pearl grey. Vermeer liked expensive pigments. This is the first painting that Matisse ever copied in the Louvre, sometime in the 1890s. It's by Chardin, and Matisse described it as being magical. Matisse studied the painting under a magnifying glass. He wanted to learn how Chardin painted with such delicacy, with such soft, pervasive colours. The Louvre still has a strong copying tradition. There's a one-year waiting list. Each year, 150 copyists are let in. The museum supplies the easels and the stools, but not the canvases or the paints. Anyone can apply to join an illustrious roll call. Eh bien, Manet, Van Gogh, Picasso, euh, Dali, mais j'en oublie certains, euh, beaucoup sont venus copier au Louvre. Naturally, there's bureaucracy. Every canvas is signed and dated and religiously stamped three times. And you can't copy exactly. Dimensions must be smaller. But you can also do your own thing, include the floorboards as well, and still instinctively strike that artistic pose. These copyists were working in a gallery devoted to a cycle of Rubens paintings. Is there a sense in which you live with Rubens for the three months? Oh yes, I live with him and sometimes uh, I, I become Rubens. <laughs> you know, I, I will tell you something, when, when, when I do, uh, when I paint and I make a mistake like here for example, mm -hmm. And I look at the painting, and I see the same mistake. So you, know? you see he made the same mistake you did? Yes. It's fascinating. The, the day when this happens, you are very happy. What does the Louvre mean to you? The Louvre is the uh, is, uh, most beautiful uh, studio in the world, you know, for me. A real school, a real paradise, you know. I'm happy when I come here. Very happy. Nick Glass, CNN, Paris.